Hello everyone, my name is Masu Tanayi. I'm a PhD candidate at Western Michigan University, uh, Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. <coughs> First, I would like to thank the Herbert County for this great opportunity. I will, uh, then I will uh, uh, present uh, my work, uh, or work uh, which is titled Flexible Hybrid Electronic Based Condition Monitoring System for uh, Sealed Container. Uh, sealed Container Condition monitoring system is using for different applications, such as the oil water industries, automotive industries, uh, corpus monitoring, and vaccine distribution. Uh, we use a condition monitoring system for ammo box project. Uh, military ammunition can be uh, manufactured in large volume and stored uh, for long terms. Uh, so we, uh, this material uh, is prone to degradation because of ambient condition. Uh, therefore, this is uh, important for the military to uh, protect them, and uh, this degraded material must be de discarded or uh, recycled because of, uh, and in some uh, mm, cases, it can lead to the uh, uh, user fatality. So, it is uh, critical for both economic and social well being of military community to uh, uh, have a system like this that we develop on. Uh, this system, uh, the FHG system, it has a temperature sensor, which is installed uh, it's on a bendable uh, arm. Uh, with uh, the temperature and humidity sensor installed inside the container. Uh, the other parts, such as the SD card battery and uh, microcontroller and other components installed outside the container. The reason is that they need to be accessible by, by the user uh, uh, here. Uh, the packaging has a dust and water resistance and it has a, a living indicator that shows the SD card and battery conditions. Uh, it could be wireless, but there are requirements as to have uh, accessible to the battery and SD cards. Uh, why we use these uh, PFS and CFS, copper flex and printed flex? The reason is they are very popular in this technology. Um, PFS were imprinted on the substrate by using a 3 printer and on CFS, uh, the copper uh, uh, deposit on the substrate by using the G. Uh, both systems use the capton polyamide as a substrate because of their thermal and mechanical stability and good uh, chemical resistance. In this, uh, uh, to compare the PFS and CFS, we need to do some characterization. We did the material characterization and system characterization. On material characterization, we did mechanical and environmental tests based on the IPCTM standards. We fabricated test coupons, a uh, uh, comb pattern, meander line, and dark bone to do different of, uh, to do uh, this experiment. On system characterization, we checked the uh, functionality and durability of the system. Uh, first, uh, this is the mechanical uh, test, uh, elongation, bending, and terminal bond strength test. And on uh, environmental tests, we did the corrosion test and moisture and insulation test. On system characterization, we uh, checked the whole system by using uh, in placing inside the environmental chamber and using the therm thermometer in uh, different humidity test holes. Uh, as a result, uh, uh, the PFS system uh, can provide the desired uh, flexibility and functionality to measure the temperature and humidity inside the container. As a future goal, we need to improve the thermal bond strengths. And uh, I would like to acknowledge for uh, the, uh, the uh, Air Force Research Laboratory and Nextflex and uh, SafeSense for supporting our work. Good one. Thank you.